Making your way down U Street on any given night of the week, your senses erupt from the sights and sounds around you. The smooth riffs of a jazz saxophone drifting out of one bar, the driving beat of an indie rock band pulsing from another, a singer-songwriter with her guitar in the warm glow of a coffee house, and just down the street, the bright marquee of a theater announcing a cutting-edge musical fresh from Broadway. If you're lucky enough to call this area home, you might step into your brand new loft-style condo just long enough to change your clothes and grab a bite before heading back out for the evening. After all, the night is young, and you're ready to enjoy your neighborhood. This is U Street today, but its rich history tells so much more. U Street was in fact the birthplace of African-American culture in Washington, D.C. The neighborhood was founded after the Civil War, when free men and women were searching for a place to call their own. Churches, schools, theaters, and culture thrived in this popular urban setting. And as the turn of the century gave way to the 1920s and 30s, iconic U Street natives Duke Ellington and Pearl Bailey nicknamed this area Black Broadway. And a cultural beacon it remained until the evening of April 4th, 1968, when Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. was shot in Memphis. That night, U Street's popularity turned to notoriety when it became the epicenter of the 1968 riots that ravaged much of downtown D.C. Recovery was slow until the late 1990s, when a new group of developers and entrepreneurs invested tens of millions of dollars revitalizing the area. Today, the hip culture and the economic stability of U Street are back and more alive than ever. Restaurants, bars, and a variety of live music and theater venues have brought new residents flocking into the neighborhood. U Street has been given a new lease on life in a new century, without forgetting where it came from, or the promise of where it's going. <laughs>